Matt, the mortgage guy here. Wanted to record a quick video with some tips on what documentation to provide during the loan process. So, had a conversation with my team this morning and we're kind of just brainstorming on different things we can do to help advise clients to make the process as smooth as possible. That's what we're constantly trying to do improve our processes so that it's just smooth and easy for for us for the client for the underwriters for the agents involved if it's purchased for everybody and so here's something that we brainstormed talked about on how to make things a little bit easier and i'll pass that on to you the consumer or realtor or whoever's watching this when it comes to documentation what happens is you submit your loan underwriter reviews it and then they spit out an approval it's got a conditions list you're approved, here's the conditions that you need to send to us so that we can clear those and, and give your loan the final approval, get it clear to close, whatever that is. Now, when underwriters ask for clarification on something or they need a specific month bank statement, anything they ask for, what happens quite often, and we found this through working with hundreds of clients, is that the client says, oh, you need that? I'll give you something that suffices that condition and it's something a little bit different than what they're specifically asking for and what happens is one sometimes it can't be used and doesn't clear the condition but two if you provide too much documentation it opens up for them to ask for even more and i'll try to give an example of that let's say they ask for terms of withdrawal on your 401k account because you're using that for reserves or something and you provide every single document that you can from that 401k and you think to yourself, you know what? This, this, this is gonna help. Cause I'm providing them everything. We're gonna definitely clear that condition. Well, you provide them with a statement that we never had in the file that shows you liquidated 150,000, you know, whatever it is, you provided so much information that now we got more questions. We don't want that. So when it comes to documentation, less is more, exactly what not the doctor ordered but exactly what the underwriter asked for let's just give them that just enough to have clear the condition let's not get creative bring new stuff into the fold because then you know we bring more documentation from more accounts that we never saw before and they're asking questions what is this fourteen hundred dollar recurring payment do you have some debt we don't know about do we need to put this thing back into underwriting and kind of dig in a little bit here that's exactly the scenario you don't want when you're doing a mortgage so Hopefully that's helpful. The moral of the story, less is more. When it comes to mortgage documentation, we, we want to give the underwriter exactly what they need to clear the condition on the file, to get your file clear to close. Nothing more, nothing less. And in this case, it's important that we have nothing more because we don't want new items, new cans of worms. Any questions at all, please feel free to reach out. Matt, the mortgage guy, until next time.